man. I say it every time that I need to set this up beforehand, but I never do. Ah, that's fine. Anyway, today we're looking at Monster Train, the latest on the uh, the the train of roguelike card games, uh, the trend which has been going for quite a few years, but I will always enjoy because I like roguelike card games. And I've heard good things about this one, so let's go in. Now, welcome to hell. Your train is carrying precious cargo, the last remaining shard of the pyre, needed to relight the fires from the depths of hell. Invaders from heaven, the winged, will do anything to prevent you from completing your journey. You must make wise decisions to build up your band of monsters and have any hope of success. So yes, we are the train, the bone shaker, I believe. The, the train from hell, carrying the last flame of hell that we need to reignite hell with. And in our way are the forces of heaven, which are obviously quite invested in uh, stopping hell. Heaven's priests. These disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. So they are... Oh, you can actually mouse over them to see what each of them do. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm sure that'll be relevant when I actually understand what all of it means. <laughs> okay. This is the pyre. If it takes too much damage for enemy attacks, your run is over. This is our overall life. Enemies have entered at the lowest level and move up one level every turn. If they reach the top, they'll attack your pyre. Makes sense. Summon units to Venture Train. You can play one unit card, each unit card, once per battle. Right. So you can only play a character once. Each floor of the train has limited capacity. Actually, hang on. Seems a bit loud. Hold up. Not that one, this one. Is it a bit loud? Nah. Nah, it's fine. Actually, it's fine. The amount of space a unit will take up is indicated by the number of pips on its card. Okay. So that actually took up two pips. You can deal two damage and summon a train steward. Takes two times each turn. Um, I guess we put a train steward in front. <clears throat> uh, and we would draw five cards next turn, so I guess we just... Well, they heal, don't they? Yeah, so... Ping that, and then we just throw that at them. Okay. Alright, so they keep coming in through the bottom. But now we have to do defences in the upper floors. Such as this train steward. And then if we torch her, she'll... Okay, right. Okay, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. We heal, and so I assume regen is... Restore once per stack at the end of the turn. Okay, so that's technically restore three, but just slowly. That's fine. We can restore all that now. Oh, okay, I should have ping. Okay, I should have killed that. Oh. My mistake. But it doesn't attack. It just heals, which is irritating. Ooh. Uh, all we can do is just put more train stewards in the way. We can heal him. Can we put... No, oh, I have to go to the next floor. We can do some advanced defences. I mean, the art style for this is looking great. I like the train just rolling past in the background. You can see all of the uh, surrounding terrain. No attack. Oh, we're still not going to be able to stop them. Man, me not killing him, that's... We suffered. He is the boss. Combat will continue in this room until you or he is defeated. So he would just keep attacking. Uh, so the extra... Wait. So the regen will actually give him basically 9 health. So it means he'll survive an extra hit. Ooh. That's good. These though. If we ping her twice, then she'll die to this. And then he won't actually attack. So, I think we do that. So yeah, he should effectively take three hits. One, hit, hit, hit. A. Oh, he will- oh, and he gets him. Nice. 
Okay, I'm I'm seeing it, and we get clan packs. Oh, is this this our clan? Our primary clan is Hellhorned, and the allied clan is Awoken. So we get a clan pack from our primary clan. Apply Rage three to friendly units. Plus two attack per stack decreases every turn. So that's plus six attack, but then every turn it goes down. Okay. Move a unit up a floor. Sure. Or just apply rate six, so 12 attack. Man, I feel like this is still better because it also has a body, so it can block an attack. Also, it doesn't cost three. Yeah, we'll try that. I mean, I know nothing, so I'm just trying anything, but yeah. Consume is destroyed after the battle, yep. Yeah. Deal three damage, move their unit to the front, restore two health to all friendly units, and deal two damage to all enemy units. Uh, I could see this being useful. Or do I skip for money? Because I don't I'm not particularly enamoured by these. Since we already have a bunch of regen in the deck. This is also free. Free three damage. We draw more cards than we can use mana for, so I think free cards is fine. But then again, yes, this is all my assumptions. We have we have melted some of the ice, so we pick a path. Forge spells to gain new powers, gain money. Forge units to gain new powers, and gain an awoken unit, so the awoken is the secondary, yeah. So we can either upgrade a unit and get a free unit, or upgrade a spell and get get money. Uh, well, it seems like we need to very heavily depend on the units, so I think we would like to try and upgrade one. Oh, thank you. Raise a unit with 25 health. Okay, or you can remove a card from the deck. Upgrade a unit with Endless. When this unit dies, return its card to the top of the draw pile. So whenever it would go away, we get it back. Attack takes one damage per stack. So it takes four and three and two. I think 25 health seems a lot. Oh, but we can't do it to our big guy. It can only be to basic guys. And they have little gem slots. Oh, let's try that. 33. Yeah, that seems... That seems just... Yeah, he's really tanky. And then we can also put that on him. Yeah. Per stack. Takes four damage whenever they attack. Well, I think we've made a very good tank unit. Uh, well, also has 30 health. So whenever it's damaged, we gain one mana. And that attacks three times each turn. Tanks. Tanks. Well, a tank or a DPS... Well, I think we I think the train stewards make good tanks, so I feel like or do I do that just to get more mana? Let's try that. Let's try it. I don't know anything. Let's just try it. Big numbers. It's a bit weird because this game is using numbers that are a lot bigger than you expect with a normal standard card game. Like just 110 health. So I feel so make direct attacks more painful. Use spells from afar. Oh nice. Uh, damage is dealt to armor before health. Each point of armor blocks one point of damage is then removed. 25 armor. So when you gain spikes, right, okay. So yeah, their thing is about having a bunch of health and inflicting spikes. Just like that, that one unit I made. Oh, it tells you what the track is. Interesting. Oh, and so is this like our, our champion? Yeah, our champion, actually. Wow, this is really annoying. So if we kill this, does it lose spikes? Yes. Okay, important to know. And we have our, our carry. Combat previews are now enabled. The preview number shows the amount of damage each unit will take. Okay. So this will take 12, but will take no damage back. Um, I guess we leave our train steward down here at the moment. And just end the turn since he was not going to do any damage. Yeah. Although he is still going to go up to the next floor, isn't he? Yeah. Ah, more spikes. Um. So that's thirteen. If we put it, even if we ping it twice, it's not going to die. I think we need to we need to ping this because the spikes are too annoying. Do we give him regen? Well, he's not going to take any damage. Well, let's throw another fireball at him because then a fireball and another train steward will kill him up here. Yeah. 
Can you run my bag? He dies just from the reflection. Okay. So yes, a train steward here, and a ping. Yeah. He's going to take five. I guess we could train steward and then just three, yeah. Train steward just deal three damage. And he will die. We've also pulled him to the front. He will die. And no one's down here, so yep. Cool. Nice. Nice. Oh, you with your spikes. Can I... I can throw this guy in here. So we can double buff him. And if we ping this, he won't have spikes. Oh, and he's also continues until the enemy's defeated. Okay, so he should just die if I do this, right? Yep, he's apparently dead. Uh, well, we can also give him regen just to rub it in, I guess. That 30 health, it's really good. Yeah, he just can't do anything. Oh, we can also smoke. Oh. Yeah, I can see how with the uh, boss fights they can be a bit of a slugfest, so having a speed up button is nice. Get our 50 gold. Uh, apply armor 5. So armor is pseudo health. We have another imp. I quite like the imp. I think the imp is quite good. I th I'll take an imp. Descend a unit and restore 10 health. Deal 3 damage. Restore 10 health to a friendly unit. Deal damage to the front unit equal to 5 times the amount heal. I don't think our stuff is tanky enough to really make good use of this. I mean, it's still a bunch of damage. But it has to be damage. No, I'll, I'll just skip. I haven't found something to really use money with. Oh no, the gems. Yeah, no, money seems quite good. Duplicate any card except your champion. Gain an awoken unit. And that's more stones. Or restore 20 health. Well, we don't need the 20 health. So we don't get full advantage. But upgrading units seems really good. But we don't really have... Apart from the train stewards, we don't really have anything to upgrade. Oh, we have the... We have that 530 now. Hmm. Hmm. Can we duplicate the guy with his enchantments? Yeah. Can we duplicate that? Apparently. Should we? Yeah, why not? Seem, seems good. Oh, because we always have our champion, so we always... And he always does d decent damage, so we... As long as we have the tank... Oh, wait, there's three here. Something interesting can be found in here. Uh, well, let's get our unit, or not, if the case may be. Well, we can have another DPS. What's in here? Ooh. Ooh! So this is a random event. A cave of a thousand eyes seems to awaken as you grow near. From deep within, a voice emerges. Relinquish your life or your wealth and you may be rewarded. If you are deemed worthy. You don't often make offerings to unknown beasts, but you consider making exceptions for this cave. Do we toss a tribute? So we pay money or health and get a chance to get an artifact. Let's, let's pay some money. Uh, your worth is yet to be determined. Only further tribute. Have, have some more money. Uh, okay, this is when it starts being real. We'll, tr we'll try wealth one more time. Oh my god. Fine, take five health. Okay. So this is the first artifact. 50% chance to f swap the front and back enemy units when they enter your train. We can just collect it to gain some of the money back. That, that actually seems quite good, because the usually the ones at the back are quite weak. We deemed you worthy. So they... Probably, and since we have a double striking character, they won't really obstruct. I like this, the bog worm. Daedalus, heavily armored creations, protect this ex-professor in his quest to save Seraph and the Winged. So he's not, he's not really an angel, he's a pretend angel. Construct explosives enter with a damaged shield. Nullify the next source of damage. Is he going to put bombs on the train? Daedalus, the professor. Oh, he has his own theme music. Daedalus is the strongest boss you faced yet. I mean, he's only the second one. Third one. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out other enemies on that floor. Oh, this bomb has a triggered ability and will explode on its turn, dealing damage. 
So on their next turn, it will despawn and deal 10 damage to the front enemy unit. Okay. Uh, well, we don't mind if that explodes on there, do we? Because there's nothing on there. Uh, let's just let's just get working down here. Uh, we can spawn this guy. Do we ping any of these? I don't think we do. Do we just imp? Well, we don't really need to. Actually, we might need to ping something so that we can get damage on this. Are we multi-strike? Oh, our things for oh, that's a three stack. Ah, I see. He's too thick. In that case, uh, I guess we ping. It doesn't really matter. So we'll ping this one. Yeah, so that doesn't actually do anything. Okay. She will move along. And now he's going to put a bomb up there. That's what does he do? Encant triggers when you cast a spell on this floor. So when we cast a spell on this floor, he gains one attack. Okay. He's going to immediately die and then take 12 damage. That seems fine, I think. Uh, well, I guess we hope we can get a good unit up here to do some damage. Do we regen this? I think we do. What do we ping? That? Well, we ping... Oh, wait, he's going to gain attack. Ooh. Hmm. So that's five, so it should be on eight. Two, four, seven. We can't kill it. We could just do damage to it and make another five lethal. And then, if we kill this, it gets an extra 5 damage onto him, which I think is worth it. And the extra the extra healing makes up for the 1 extra damage he takes, so... I think this is fine, and then we just leave it there. Let's deal 1 extra damage, 2 extra damage to her, why not? Oh, I could have... could I have hit Daedalus? I don't actually think so. Okay, now that one's a problem. <laughs> Do we have to double? I think we have to double ping that. Otherwise, these are going to get wrecked. Okay, at least that's fine. We had the right hand for it. Um, oh, she only has three health, so the train will kill. The train stood will kill her. Um, he's going to take four, but that's fine. Let's just regen him. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's all fine. Cool. That's less fine, but I, hey, there's nothing I can really do about that. He's just going to die. I guess we could put more train stewards on here. I think we protect this one. Well, because then they're just going to get blown up. I don't think that we can't kill that. I guess we just have to put another train steward up here. And accept the consequences. I can't do anything down here. I can heal him. Just, oh wait, no, I didn't realise he was there. Oh dear. Oh god, not being able to buff him is that's really bad. Wow. I need to pay attention to this in the future. Um let's just put the imp here. Just as a Blockade. Oh, he gets the damage buff himself. Oh. That's something. Let's put him... Oh, I'm down. My own... Oh, no, this is a 33 health one. Okay, never mind. I forgot I had these in the deck. And the bomb only deals to the first... Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. God, I don't know what... I don't know how to describe the art style of this. It feels like, um... Like, very, like, uh, like, old, like, 2000s, I wouldn't say, like, comic, like, f like, a figure series, like, something like that. I don't know how to quite, what to say, but the people who know what I'm talking about, they, they understand. They, they're the real, the real gangsters. They know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's buff all of these. Yeah. Let's get that train rolling. Uh, let's just kill this. Oh, he's encanted now. Maybe that wasn't the best, but... It's fine. He's only going to take four damage. And I can't put this guy anywhere, so... We just hold out. 
We hit Daedalus a few times. That tree is tanking real hard. Is now he okay? Now he's just going to show up. Uh, we can put her. No, we can't. She's two slot. Wow, I, man. My lack of slot knowledge has really screwed me up. Uh, well, they're just going to die because they can't beat him. That's fine. Uh, I could just leave him to get buffed. Uh, and I guess just hit her a few, hit him a few times. See what happens. Yeah, I, I can't do. I really can't do anything else. Yep. Okay. It's a pity we couldn't get him raged, but he did do some decent damage. We can just stack regen on him and see what happens. You can make it. You can make it. He's going to take 96 damage. That's impressive, at least. Uh, we should probably speed this. This is speed up. Super speed. Okay. Okay. Um, and we can't really do much here, can we? He's just going to uh, flatten our call for some damage. That sucks. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I think my... My not my misunderstanding of the pips kind of screwed this fight, but hey, I don't think we die because our thing does twenty damage each, so that's fine. We lost some good some good points for the damage we took, but that's okay. We get a rare pack, get a drafter units, and some major enhancements. Double the armor. We don't have any armor. Draw a unit and enhance it with. Plus 20 attack, plus 20 health, and it costs zero. Whew. I'll see you with plus 10 health. I think this seems pretty good. It just makes any unit a good... A good unit. Yeah. Resolve. Gain armor 15. Just triggers after combat. So each time it survives combat... Oh. Each time it survives combat, it gains 5 armor. That's an AoE. This is a 50-50. It does require us. Require it does require require us to have ramped for us to actually be able to play him, and he takes up three slots, which is a problem. But if oh my god, if we oh my god, if we draw him with the, oh, we have some ramp. We have this guy. Who cares? Who cares? It's my first run. Hey, plus one uh, thing per turn. Draw plus one. Plus one capacity. Ooh. But this is basically the only way we're going to play the monkey. The monkey. But then that really screwed me over before. Oh. I think I need this just because of the way I've feckled everything a bit. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, Forging powers, restore health, money, gain an artifact, gain a hellhorn. Oh, remove two cards. I think removing cards is always good. Oh, upgrade a spell to cost less? As oh, a spell, not a. Okay, not a unit. Increase the amount of damage dealt and health restored. Our card effect is doubled. Um, What's 10 spell power? So is this restore? This will just be deal damage. Make one of this is actually. Oh, it actually tells you restore twelve health, deal three damage, deal thirteen. I I say well I make I say make the free one better. Uh, double double stack. Oh, is it only these? Ugh. Can I can I yeah no not that that's not worth it. Can make something called zero. Free unit. Yeah. It's free anyway. 
Or I can make one of the pings for... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, I'll make one of the pings for you. Because that might, that might come in helpful at some point when we just need to deal two damage. Uh, restore 20 health. We, did, we just did that. Yeah, we just did that. <laughs> Move two cards. Uh. Uh. Wait. What did I? I picked. I picked that. I picked capacity, didn't I? So this is actually fine. Maybe one of the regens, but the regens are really good with my high health units. I think one of just the bad pings. One of the train stewards, maybe. Hmm. Increases this being good. Or maybe one of the imps. No, I think just one of the train stewards. They just are a bit... Not those ones. They're just a bit bleh at the moment now. And we get to upgrade the champion. So we either have him to have triple strike. Or he gets plus 10 attack. He already has 18 attack and he gets plus 10 attack. This seems way better. Because it's, I know with attack buffs, but oh wait, we have we have the imps, but we don't we don't often land the imps on him. That's the problem. And he this one still gives him the attack buffs. Yeah, no, this seems way better. Big damage, big damage man. Clipped tormentors undergo trials for greater risk reward. Activating the trial will make this battle more difficult, but we will earn extra rewards. Okay, non-burst enemy units enter with spikes. Uh, we get a random artifact. I don't think we can deal with that because it will kill our champion really quickly and we kind of need him. So what do these do? That's the porcupine. 1200. So they're just beefy units. A weight of contrition card to the top of your draw pile. If I receive your pie, it takes three damage. Okay, so they just burn us. They're just big guys that burn us, I guess. Okay. Well, we have we have a good start. We have these two, and I'm just going to be preemptive and put put this on up here. And we have free two damage, so I guess we just deal two to that. So we'll. Oh. Gain seventy five gold. Okay, if we can kill that, that's that's the thing. Ah, uh, this oh it says there's four units available in the deck, so it's a one in four, two of which are imps. Oh, I have to try. Go on, it's an imp. <laughs> Cards with consume can only play once per battle. Yeah, well. I mean, it's still, it's still, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Do I just put this up here or put... I think we just put this up here. Just to kill this, I guess. So triggers are after combat, so we do get an attack. Okay. Uh, do we put the imp on this floor? I think we put the imp down here, don't we? Just for buffings. And just to be... A Resilient line of... Do we really need it? If we do it, they just die, don't they? Sure. And we'll put the multi-striker up here. And... Oh, oh, this guy doesn't have any attack. Oh, he's just an armor person. Okay. And we'll just give this guy health. Healing. So... We get 75 gold. Take some damage. Jeez. Okay, so because he got the killing blow, he gets plus ten attack. I see, I see. Well here we have we have our gorilla. Do we just put the gorilla on the top floor? The final line of defense. Behind this. Yeah, sure. They will certainly feel your fear your horns. This? Oh, there's still rage. Um, let's just heal this guy. Try and keep our units on board for as much as we can. So this will die, but this won't take any damage. That kind of sucks, but hey. Okay. 
Okay, so that's given me that. Once played, this card is moved from the deck for the rest of the run. So you, this is a dead card in our deck until we play it, and when we play it, it just it just damages us. Okay. Uh, that's just going to die. That's all fine up there. Um. Cool. Well, let's. If we ping her, it takes less damage. What about? I'm assuming doing this will mean he takes. Uh, unfortunately, not. Oh, he only gets one attack off anyway, so unless we kill him outright, it doesn't work. Fine, fine. Oh, we could not. We can't do anything there. Uh, we could just do this to take the three damage and not have this. Oh, triggers if the card remains in hand at the end of your turn. Okay, well, fine, we play it. Right, I misunderstood that. It's okay, so it's trust. It's actually a lot worse than that. It's just trying to make you spend the mana. A brief respite. I don't like that. Why are you giving me a brief respite? Do we have anywhere to put a train warden? Uh, we could just dump him here. Sure. Final wave. The porcupine. Okay, so here's the boss. And he will apparently just die straight up, but he will kill the others. What if we dump a bunch of regen into him? Apparently not. Well, I tried. The mass for this is a bit awkward. Oh, it ends anyway. Okay. Once the boss is defeated. So we get 50 coins. We didn't... We didn't up the... Oh! A Molten Imp. He's, he's foil. Deal 5 damage to all enemy units. Only only a bit, only people on that floor. Or we give Rage 6. So that's plus 12 attack. I feel like this is just better because... Worst case scenario, we can always just put it on the champion. And this seems very... Uh, and it dilutes our, uh, our pool still for our grab thing. Plus three plus C, that's meh. Restore ten health, deal damage equal to five times the amount healed. Well that's slightly better now that we have a lot of tanky things. I think this could be this could be useful in some regards. God, I haven't been paying attention to the backgrounds of the levels, but these are all really good. So duplicate any card, 75 coins, remove two cards, reforge spells, or something interesting. The money we don't really have much of a use for at the moment. Are duplicating any card? Do we have anything really amazing? I mean, we have this and the Demon Fiend. Or just this to the Demon Fiend. Is that worth giving up some freeing freeing some slots and getting a thing? Mm. Now, you always take the random encounters. The random encounters are where it's at. Great spell to remove consume and give it a cost plus one. Ooh. So we can upgrade our grab spell so that it doesn't go away. But then we only have so many units in the deck, so it's not really worth it to keep it around, I don't think. Um, well, we can give something consume. What does that affect? Uh, it affects that. So restore 30 health. Restore 22. Okay, yeah, yeah. 33 damage. None of these are uneligible. Restore a bunch of health. Deal a bunch of damage. Is dealing a bunch of damage worth it? Maybe? Hmm. Or, rest or restoring a bunch of health. Well, this has the potential to deal, what, 150 damage? <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's see how that goes. Um, a great spell to cost minus one. Oh, this rage. Makes it more usable, at least. And uh, we can remove a card. Remove one of the pings. Yeah. Oh, no, no, one of these. One of these. One of the train. No, one of the pings. Oh, we still have remove two here, don't we? Okay, well. You can, you can get a lot of card removal. Um... We've got a lot of health restore. I think getting rid of a few of them is okay. 
Ah, uh, we've already done that. So what's the what's the randomite? Come on, what's the event? What do we open our doors to? Past the train graveyard, notice several of your fallen allies. Oh, so these are the previous attempts to relight the fires of hell. Within the beasts of Gnarl steel now lie now extinguished pyre shards. Even further inside the rubble, you can make out some last protected treasures. If you were to relight the pyre shards using some of your own, the trades would reveal their value. So we can get an artifact in exchange for pyre health. Uh, pretty good to transfer health. When your pyre kills a unit, restore five pyre health. Friendly units gets plus ten and heartless. They cannot be healed. I don't think that one. Um, let's take that. What should we give a bunch of health? Uh, our, our reliable tank, I think. Or or our final defense. I think this just makes us ridiculous. So I don't see why not. <laughs> it's already ridiculous. The pie show goes out once more. This time is good. You're all that's left. We are the last attempt. The last hope of hell. We shall leave the frozen stick sea. Six stick sea, yeah. Stick sea. And you just enter with a bunch of armor. In exchange for 150 gold. Uh, sneaky clipped. Triggers when a unit on the floor dies. It gets armor. Stealth. Not a target in combat, but loses one stack every turn. So you, well, not a target in combat, but we can still kill it. Multi strike four. Um, let's, let's know. I'm still being a baby. This is still my first attempt. It's fine. You can bully me later. Oh, Damn. So this isn't, so it's not a target combat, so I just can't fight it. So if I put him here, he's just going to die. Wow, that's, hmm. Well, I can kill two of them. I guess I put him up here? Just playing him. Okay, so they lose the stealth. Oh, there's the treasure. Do I have a tank? Do I put the tank in the DPS thing down here? Oh, I'll do it like that, maybe. Yeah, let's do it like... Oh no, but there's... Yeah, no, if I do this and this... I can then put this... Oh, put this up here. And then we can get our... Our money. This is the last stop. Just also deal 13 damage to something. Just deal 13 damage to him? Uh... I mean, sure. Just, just deal, deal free damage. Okay, give us a good tank. That's it's fine. Oh, that's the one with the that was the boosted one. Okay. So we put him there. Haha. -ha. Uh, we can give her rage. Oh, but they're not. They're all stealthed. Yay. We just give just give him rage. Just make him disgusting. Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> and they will kill themselves, actually. Oh, is he going to get up? He still has three health. Um, we could just fledgling. Imp. We'll put another train. No, it's just imp. And we'll let the imp be the sacrifice. Oh, wait, it has no attack. Well, the imp won't be a sacrifice. Can we heal this out? Um, it will go up to 11, which won't be enough. We can just put another train in front. And try and heal it a bit, I guess. Wait, but it has no attack, so it couldn't even do damage to the pyre anyway. Okay. Uh, who? Uh, I guess we could just rage that. Does anything have three? Three. This has three up here. Put him up here, but then we can't rage down there. <sighs> we didn't get the chance to play the demon fiend. That's why, because we didn't get. 
we didn't get the synergies. I think this is probably good. How much? It, it had multi strike, so I don't think this is going to be much use. Especially if it's on the top floor. Yeah, no, just do that. Oh, can we save any time down here? Um, we could save some health here doing this and doing this. Save some health on him. And there he is. Oh. Oh! Wait, to the front enemy unit. Okay, so we ping this one. We ping this one. And then boom. Hey, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, go for that, damn. The spikes coming in clutch as well. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's put him up here. Let's just pull him. Oh, he'll just die. I'm, I'm dumb. This guy is too strong. Oh my god. The attack slits, the attack stacking he gets on kills is so much. Sacrifice, sacrifice imp. Gain two mana draw a card. So we specifically sacrifice one of our imps to cycle and gain more mana. Impolate. Deal damage equal to the front, but equal 50 times the number of imps in your deck. So, I mean, at the moment, that's just 30 damage. Wait, does that... Does that count if we've played the imps? I'm assuming it does, because otherwise that would be really dumb. Well, we could gain the mana for the monkey, the demon monkey. Has to specifically be an imp. And this spell stays in the deck even when the imps don't. Shut up. Or we could just gain mana that way and have a blocker. Mm, I honestly don't think... Let's try this. Let's see if this works like I think it does. Store friendly, un... Store friendly units to full health. Consume, draw three cards next turn, apply rooted one. Uh, it doesn't move between floors and draw one next turn. Um, I think this seems quite good, but yeah, no, let's take healing. I'm enjoying this. This is good. I can I can understand why people are umming and ahhing about. Well, not umming and ahhing. Uh, just, I guess giving credit. Uh, well, there's a mystery artifact right there, but there's a mystery event right here that could give us an artifact. This also upgrades a unit, and I feel like our units are more important than our spells, so I think I'm going to go this way. What's the event? Come on. Chests. Two on eight chests of a merchant throwing ice. Both ones have a strange lock mechanism. They can, they can pick the shards from the pyre. The more decorated chests will take a few more tries, though. Oh, it just gives you money. Ugh. Let's, let's gain some money, I guess. I like the fact that just the pyre itself is just has omnipotent powers, which I suppose makes sense since it's a shard from the fires of hell. It's quick. Attack before enemy units. Wow. That's really good. Though I don't know what's for. Which made this guy even more disgusting. I guess the multi-strike? The chance it can kill things before they get to fight seems really good. Yeah, let's try that. And then we give it more damage. Perfect. Uh, buff anything with health? This, I guess. Just make him chunkier. Yeah, because he's one of the ones we'd actually play. Okay, and restore 20 health, sure. Oh, we could have gotten more money to not spend. Oh, we could re-roll the shop. I didn't think... I didn't know that. Fell, the wings of light. The Clips Absolver's guard fell to weigh you down with guilt before the warrior make her, can make her killing blow. Remove these weights to thwart her assault. The Ed Scourge dex cards to your hand a deck. Okay. 1,300 health. Wow. All right. 
fell the wings of light. Where's the Alabaster Guardian? Okay. Ultimate Penance. So we take 5 damage if we don't get rid of them. 70 health guardians. And they can't be moved. Well. I see. Um, should we just do a, a strong opening? And just put one up here. We can't burn this, but... There. Yeah. Let's just see how this works out, I guess. Oh yeah, it just takes my damage. And they get to create more because uh, we didn't kill that one. Look, we just start generating some mana and it's fine. Can we heal any? No. Okay, so we're going to take some more damage, but that's fine. We have so much health. He's gaining s strength. Cool. So wait, is she going to attack? I don't. I don't know. Uh, we could just play the monkey up here. I think we take the chance to play the monkey. Yeah. While well, we can. Just. Oh wait, no. This is the deal. Thirteen damage. This isn't the heal one. Let's just kill this. Yeah. Okay. It's going to take some damage. That's fine. Do we do we even protect? I mean, I don't think we need to protect anything. Guess we just throw an imp in there. Throw some regen. Yep. Sure. Does the regen decrease over time? Yes, it does. Okay. So yes, thanks to him, we're getting mana to actually play these. So yes, even though we have one imp here, it's still so it's just the amount of imps you have in the deck. Okay. Let's just play both of these and just blow up that. Oh, we still can't quite kill that. Is it? Do I have to ping this or ping that? I think. It, what happens if I wait? Or if I heal this? Yeah, heal that. Still doesn't kill that, okay. Oh, it's because he's all the damage, right. I forgot. Yeah. Hell's finest. Oh, we just rage him, make him even stronger. That's very unnecessary, but I kind of want to do it. Yeah, why not? 82. Well, you could just one-shot both of them, yeah. As long as we keep him up to date. I just ping ping her. Or if I kill the- well it does 13 damage anyway, so... Okay. There's the gorilla. Demon. Uh, what units do we have left? It's just a train steward. Sure. Just throw him up here. Protect the bone shaker. Um, we can throw another one of these down here. Just fill all of our available slots and just heal him. Cuckoo. Uh, does anything else be healed? Uh, let's just give him regen. Heal the one. Oh, I missed the free two damage. Well. When the boss has 1200 health, I don't know if that will matter. Okay, so she's going to take 600 damage, but it's not enough. Damn. Uh, I think this is going to be rough. Okay. 
Okay. Going to take 257. Uh, just regen, regen, heal, hit. Okay. It's fine, we've got the beef up here. Ah, oh boy. The demon coming in. Yep, demon of rage. Ping her down. Ah, oh, yes. The last line of defense actually pays off. The first time we actually get to really use him. He didn't even take any damage apart from the random incidental damage. Which I feel is unfair. Spiked Hornethound costs spend all of your remaining mana. Ooh, that's nice. Apply double X Rage and double X Armor. I feel like that's quite good. It consumes it as well, so that's... If nothing else, it gets out of the deck, or we just have to deal 30 damage. I think, I, I think that's good. Uh, extra mana, more slots, draw an extra card. Uh, I think we take the extra mana, because then we can just play the demon... We could just play him. Ah. Scorched Plains. How very hellish. Offers a random selection of artifacts. Um, or we can remove two cards, forge units. Uh, let's go for some artifacts. We're not sitting on many artifacts. Ha. I like this cat thing. Enemies get minus one attack. Friendly enemies get plus three health. Minus one attack. Seems like this. I, I feel like this is the better, the better option. Gain our health. Oh, we gain more money. Not enough to buy another one, but hey. Greet him again. Slay plus twenty or more multi strike. So, so this is he. But for every kill, he gains forty attack. For this one, it's every kill he gains thirty attack. This one makes better use of buffs, but I think this is still better. Yeah. I think just the raw damage output is stronger. The penitent. The sulky eagles. These purifiers will burden you with the weight of your sins until your penance has been paid in full. Non-boss enemy units get plus 8 attack. They have a lot of armor. Revenge. Triggers when damaged. 400 coins. No, we we had we had a narrow escape last time. I don't want to push my luck. Okay, do we have we have our gorilla? We can set up the front line. I feel like this plus gorilla is a very good front line, so let's do that. 122 damage. Yeah, seems fine. Although, what's the- oh, I didn't see the resolve. What's the resolve for these? Gain 100 money. What? And a self-mutilation. Your pie takes fight. all this. Oh, it's so- it's okay. It's like the damaging thing from before. Uh, we don't have any DPS. Which sucks. So I guess we just have to do this. Um. We can't really- there's no real benefit to blowing that up. We could blow this up. Yeah, and that would kill him. And then we just stop ourselves taking damage. And heal this for free while we're here. Yeah, we don't get you, but... If we can... Oh, okay, that's nice. Uh, we have to put the steward in... So we put the train steward up. He dies immediately. Why? Oh, because they both attack first. So I guess we put the imp in front. And then only that dies. We only take two damage, that's that's fine. Uh try and keep him up, I suppose.
Okay. It's our tank boy. Uh, he's just going to die. Double tank. We could just, we could just massively buff him, or massively buff him. I think that we take we take some damage. It's fine. Although that might be worrying. Hmm. I'm just going to kill him. Ugh. If we do this, we can kill that. Is there anything else that's worth? Oh, we could heal him a lot. Just kill him outright. Yeah. And then we heal. We could also just ping him just to make sure he dies. Yeah. Just heal this. And pew. Oh, this does no damage, so that's fine. So yeah, letting the zero attacks through is fine. Cool. Oh, we can give this one a DPS. So attacks before enemies. That's good. That's good. We can also give it rage, but there's nothing here at the moment. Just put another train steward. I like trains. Uh, let's leave the imp for now. Oh, he's the final wave. Okay. Relentless. Oh, we will just kill him on the first room. Okay, cool. Sure. These two are just too powerful. Oh, I suppose because it's supposed to be because he has so much health, he's supposed to take a lot of small hits to gain damage, but because he's just dealing so such big chunks of damage. He doesn't actually get to any of his stacks. Wow. Uh, we don't have any armor. We don't really want to ram return a random spell, a random consumed spell to your hand. Well, we only have one, don't we? We have two. We have that and that. I don't know if that's worth it. Ramping. Like, Apart from him, we don't really have anything to spend mana on, so it's not worth the big ramp. Let's just skip. Uh, add three stings. Deal five damage to the front enemy, draw one next turn. Mm. 30 health, regen four. That This might be good for the turns where we don't have anything going on. Okay. Uh, we did that. Did we? No, we get a pig. Okay. Well, why is that a used event? Weird. Uh, we can upgrade a unit and delete two cards, gain an artifact, get an artifact, and restore health. Let's get two artifacts. Yeah. Apply dazed to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre. They skip their next attack. 25% chance to deal five damage when an enemy unit enters the train. No, no, no. I feel like at this point, this would be good early, but at this point everything has so much health that even if it guaranteed did 5 damage, it probably wouldn't even be that amazing. I suppose it kills all the weak ones, but it's only a 25% chance. This at least means that we have a extra chance on the last line of defense, so I think I'll take that. Oh, we can buy, buy one. No, we can't. We don't have any money. Nice, nice. Can I reroll? Well, no, because they're all still going to be this expensive. Okay, lesson learned. Artifacts cost about this much. It's, we don't really want to purge anything either. Well, that was a waste of a path, I suppose. Well, we get one artifact, but... Upgrading your unit might have, probably would have been better. Oh, Seraph the Chase. The end is near. This incarnation of Hell's greatest foe has the power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. Oh. Remove half of any buff and debuff effect stacks. Oh, well, uh, my uh, strength stacking boy may have some problems. Please don't say he like keeps doing that, right? 
that would that would just be unfair, surely. Um, just demon, big demon. Oh, it's these where they just barely survive. Oh my god. Hopefully, I can get the uh, the tree, the tree in my next hand. Oh, he does it on that row. Okay, that's fine. Hey, I did get the tree. So she can just clear them out. Healing him would have been nice, but I mean, I can at least give him some regen. Yeah, and she would just kill them all straight up, so... <laughs> okay, so let's... Get a get a buff, a buff imp. Yep, as as is the norm. Uh, let's heal him to full and be cheap, because we're just like that. Put another train steward in front of her, I suppose. Yeah, and let's leave the imp for now. Let's just give him his one health. Won't mean much, but it might mean something. Get some free hits on Seraph. He keeps moving. Also, oh, he does the debuffs when he enters the floor. That is quite annoying. Um, we can just blow blow them up. Is that 15 times 5? 60? Wait. Okay, so if I do this... 55. And then I'll just deal. Yeah. Or I can Fledgling Imp. Yeah, let's do that. Because then he'll attack, heal Imp, and then we'll at least get to smack, yeah, smack him for good damage. If I rage him... I think I... Do I do that? That seems that seems too much. Maybe I just put a Train Steward on the top. Nah, let's do that. What even is too much, anyway? And just punch him. We can, I know I can't move the boss. Good thing there's no debuffs on this level. Haha. -ha. Or I, I could apply some. I could apply Rage and then deal a bunch of damage to him. That sounds funny. Let's do that. Rage 6. Uh, well, he's going to take 16, that's fine, I guess. or we could just give him some armor. Yeah. God, this Seraph design is sick. Hang on, I think it's started to be too loud now. Oh, global audio. Yeah, okay. But yeah, no, this, Ser this Seraph looks so cool. Apart from the weird beak nose, but... I mean, apart from that, he's cool. Um, dun, dun, dun. Well, we have our buffed imp. Our buff imp. He's not going to die, which is fortunate. I can also just give him the regen. Yeah, sure. Uh, we can break one of these so they deal less damage. Yeah. And we'll just put him up here. Just, you know, hang out and ping him for two of his 2,000 health. God, yeah, the numbers are so weird. I'm sure a lot of thought went into these numbers, but they just they just look so wacky. Ah, oh, yes, the big heal. That's what we need. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I actually remember to mute myself before sneezing this time, so you don't have to hear that. Yeah, we'll just keep giving him regen, even though it's going to get removed immediately, but hey. Yep. Nice, nice. Wait, what's going on with this? Oh, he is now... He is here. He has arrived. Oh, God. Uh... Uh that, do that, heal these. Maybe they'll survive a bit more. 1300 damage isn't isn't bad. Will the regen help? It should 
It shouldn't. Nine times three. Maybe it will help. Let's find out. No, it doesn't. Okay. Screw you. Hit you for two. Damn. Okay. 162. That's just not really good enough. Damn. Guess we have to put this guy up here. Put the regen hopes that air. Okay. And my daystone doesn't affect bosses, does it? Okay. What have we got? Uh, I guess this is the best. The best I. This is all I have. It doesn't really mean anything. I think that's it. Is this it? Do we lose on the final hurdle? Oh, I think we do. No! Oh my god. Uh, it, okay. Honestly, it feels like we had a bad strategy, so that doesn't even... I'm not even surprised, but... Hey, you leveled up. Move you into the front and apply armor 10. Hell, hell yeah. Summon abilities trigger an additional times for the imps. Bet I leveled up. Apply regen 2 and spikes. Add a copy of this card to your discard pile. Uh, so you, it duplicates itself? I don't know if I would even want that. It costs 2 as well. Mm. I mean, spikes. having spikes is good. Stacking spikes, I suppose. Grant one stack of spikes each time it's applied. Oh, well, there it is. There's the synergy. Oh, you get less XP for your secondary one as well. Is this, is this the level up? Yeah, okay. Okay. This is the card gallery. Sure. The Hornbreaker Prince. So these are the only the sentient. Okay, so each one has the champion. Bunch of artifacts. So there's generic artifacts, there's artifacts specific to each clan, as well as one specific to events. Okay. And there's, uh,. Me and my me and my uh, my friend, singular enemies killed by the pyre three. Wow. Okay. Let's go again. Let's see if we can mix and match a bit. Do I get to pick from the others now? Uh, I do not. Oh, I need to unlock them. Damn. Well, let's let's swap it over. Let's let's primary primary awoken secondary hellhorn. So, okay. Win a run to unlock this feature. Well, I guess not yet. Yeah, sure. Let's go like that. See how it happens? The end is near. The Great Traitor will devour your spells. Okay. The first spell card each can gets consumed. Okay, sure. So we just uh, try not to have a massive dependency on spells. Oh, we actually normally start off with an artifact and an upgrade. Okay. Um, what is... Well, let's see our deck. How many spikes do we have? Well, our champion currently does nothing, so... I probably should have done that first. And our deck is basic. Okay. X cost cards get plus three to their value with a of X. Well, let's just take this for random spikes value. Rejuvenate. Triggers when healed, even at full health. Deal 15 damage to enemy unit. Revenge. Draw one. 40 health. So this is a tank hero, I suppose. Deal 15 damage to the unit in front. I think this is better. Dealing chunky damage. Especially, like I said earlier, where things seem to have more reasonable amounts of health, at least. I say. Uh, yeah, no, 15, 20, 1, yeah. Grant a special power of the life serve, making them harder to kill than other disciples. Enemy units went up with armor 10. Let's, let's try a challenge. Let's see what happens. Let's try the level 1 challenge where we have nothing in our deck. And a subpar artifact. 
Okay. Well. So I guess just pew, pew, and pew. Okay. Uh, seems good. Oh, you, you're gonna do that to me? Ugh. You are going to do that to me, aren't you? How rude. Oh, I could have just pinged it. Oh, whatever. Okay. Oh, the regen also triggers. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I guess just keep stacking that regen. Oh, right. Armor. I, I forgot about that bit. Okay. This is the boss. Can I just deal 15? And then he'll just die. Okay. Because he's relentless. Yep. Uh, oh, he goes until he dies. He does not. He has uh, more to live for. Apparently. I guess we just ping him then. Because he's the only real threat. Oh, the bo okay, yeah, yeah, when the boss dies is it. Hey, we get our unit draft. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. That seems quite strong with our champion. I think the regen might be better, just the, the regen potion. Apply armor 15 to the front friendly unit. That one actually seems helpful. Let's go with that. Oh, we get the get demon fiend. Gain, summon gain 40 max health. Weird. So it's a, just it's basically a 555, but with summon synergies. Oh no, because it doesn't start that way. It, it's it's empty. Okay, interesting. Uh, red rage. So he's a good DPS. Uh, do we need? I think we do need some, some damage, especially because she is not really damage. Oh, we gain spikes. He gains spikes three whenever he's healed gets plus one stack. Now, I think we just take a standard damage card for now because our DAC is lacking for them. Our DAC, our DAC. Also he gives rage so he can actually give our champion damage. Uh, I feel like because of, we know what the final boss is going to be we shouldn't have a dependence on spells so let's try and stay to the unit plan. Uh, w, oh multi-strike. Oh. What, what do we want to upgrade? Let's think this through. This with multi-strike seems like it'd be really good. Basically have a pseudo um, Hellborn champion. Yeah, I think so. Give it both of the buffs. Yeah, why not? We'll give it plus 10 attack. Or just pl I think we just give it plus 10 attack and try and make it a full carry unit. And then what do we give with this? Just a train steward, make it not as terrible. Make one of these meh. Hmm. I guess we make one of the train stewards not so meh. And we get an awoken unit. Sweep! Let's try sweep. AoE seems like it'd be good. Uh, like, now that I've seen, there's quite a few encounters where you have a lot of low health units. Seems like sweep would be helpful. Oh, it's the, the spike, spike team. Start trial, enemy units appear on every floor. They're all 1-1s one with rage. We get an extra 75 gold if we can defeat them. I mean, worst comes to worst, we're going to take some damage, so... Let's basically take some damage for some money, so I'm... I'd willing to do that. Simple machines. Uh, well, we have a sweep, so that's a good start. And if we put him up here, he can just clear all of these, so yeah, sure. No, not like that. Like this. Uh, he's going to take quite a bit of damage, and he's actually not going to survive the second round, but we'll ignore that. Do I even need to put her here? Well, I ping, I ping this, and it, they, uh, that just, just, just does no damage. Could I put the sentient up here? It feels like a waste. If I give this regen, it doesn't, still doesn't survive this. 
What if I give him a train steward? Yeah, I think that I think that's what I do. And I just leave her down here. Yeah, but then he survives this. Well, that sweep coming in handy. Wow, amazing. What what a time. Uh, well, let's put our DPS down here with our champion and just stack some regen on her for now, I guess. Uh, let's let's have an emergency train steward here. Or I could have protected the thing with sweep. That would have been a better plan. So now she actually has attack as well. Oh, that's so good. Uh, let's block off. Yeah, let's let's give the train steward. Well, let's give her that. What I should have done. Should I regen him? For a case of random sweeps? No, I think her having the regen is still important. Even though she's not actually going to have the regen, but, you know. What do I know? I know nothing. This is only my second game. Well, at least I knew that. So this guy actually has attack. Is this the final? This is Yeah, this is the Relentless. Uh... We can give him, give her some armor. That's still apparently not good enough. Regen? Still not good enough. What about that? Apparently good enough? Oh, because the spikes will deal with the damage back. Okay. Yeah, okay. So the spike seems... Sort of three time kill the boss rush. Okay, because we killed the boss on the bottom floor, we get a bonus. Sure, sure, sure. And we get the bonus for taking on the challenge, because we just happened to get an AoE. Two health to all friendly units and two damage to all de enemies. Restore 10 health. I think this is just good for triggering our champion. Piercing. Ignores armor and shields. Supply rage. Eh. 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 Skip. Yeah. If I feel Blair about the cards, I'd rather take the money than dilute my deck with something I'm not sure about. Uh, forge new units and gain health. And we still get to do that. Well, we can take an artifact in a unit, I think. Yeah. Free artifact seems very nice. Increase the amount of damage dealt and health restored by spells. Mm, when you draw a card, its cost is randomized. No, let's not do that one. I remember the snake. I don't want to deal with that. Let's just take, take guaranteed benefits. Uh, rejuvenate gets plus one, plus one. And starts with a 75 health. So that's not really a tank, but he can get stronger. Or we just have another AoE. Let's give let's give this guy a try. Let's see what he see what he has to offer us. What benefits he brings to the carriage. Fresh no, you've seen characters often allowing you to multiply your forces through ancient magic, but this one is unstable. Could have unusual side effects. Uh so we can either copy something once, or copy something three times. Or five times, which is quite a lot. We can get a bunch of the regen fives. And just have our champion be super regen stacked. Or we can just copy something once, and be boring. But... Uh, we'll copy, we'll only copy one. I think we need more units that aren't terrible. I think we get another one of him. Another sweep. More damage. I think we duplicate because we get the extra value of having the gems on it. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's Daedalus. I see. Yep, Dictrice. So it seems like at the moment the bosses have been the same. I don't know whether that's just luck or there aren't that many bosses. Explosive explode twice. Oh, I bite. I because I have. The, oh, I still have the challenges enabled. I see. I see. I see. Uh, we'll just leave that to explode by itself. No, 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 no. Yeah.
Okay. Oh, nice. Good, good. Uh, oh, it doesn't have the damage shield. Okay, okay. That's fine. So if we... So I can just... Pew. Nice. <laughs> uh, we need that. Then that's fine. Then that's... Just... Um, is that actually okay? Takes five. Deals 15 to that. They wipe everything. I could put this up here. And start stacking it. Yeah. Even though it doesn't get an attack. Uh, that's a bomb. Well, yeah, that, bo that explodes at the start. Fuck. Um. If I just do this. Yeah, it just soaks it. Yeah, okay. We, we blow it up. Okay, or we do just this up the top. And then do this, yeah. We can't give him his regen to start off with, but that's fine. Man, we need to get that restore everything to full health. He gonna die unless I just boom kill it. What's this? Other friendly units gain haste, which I assume is they attack. Oh, they move directly from the first floor to the third floor. That's. I mean, they're not going to make it that far. I guess I just kill one of these, or do I just apply multiple regen? It's the same effect, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Uh, let's just know that. <laughs> it ends up positive one life. Uh, let's let's start buffing this guy. And give him a train. Train steward. Give him the buff one. Yes, I did that intentionally. I knew that they were differences. Final wave, here he comes. Um, I guess we just have to buff this as much as we can. Oh no, he just dies. Okay. I'm not used to the bosses being so puny. Oh yeah, sure, just whatever. I'll just cast spells. Now that I know that there's challenges for casting spells and doing things, I'll just try and do as many actions as I can. We get our gold. We get a pack. Yes, this is the one I wanted. Enhance you with plus 10, apply spikes 5. Could be good. And then there's this. Oh, I like this, though. What units do we really have to hit it on? That is a 35-35. This is being quite strong. This was sweet. Ooh. Then, then another imp there. But restoring to full health. Nah, let's see. That, 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 that one's just, just too much potential. Oh! Costs minus 3 per imp in play. I don't think we can really do that. 60 max health. So after combat, gain armor. Mm. Sure. Actually, no. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have gone. That. I shouldn't have just. I shouldn't have done that. Instant regret. Uh, we're currently playing quite low, so I think we just want more capacity. Higher floor capacity. How about now? Uh, upgrade magic. Hmm. Hmm. Get a unit. Hmm. Get rid of two cards. Hmm. Duplicate card. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Upgrade a spell to gain holdover. It's placed on top of your draw pile next turn. Hmm. Upgrade a spell with plus 10 power, 5 health, and regen. Plus 15 health and regen. Yeah, let's make one of these better. And I think having it loop. Just so we get to consistently... And make it free, why not? Oh, we can't, we can't do that, right? Yeah. Uh, I think one of the regens being free would be helpful. 
Oh no, the ping. The free ping was quite helpful when we had it. Mm. Then we can remove... Let's remove one of these and remove a train. Because I don't like trains anymore. I'm not even going to look at the 20 health. Rejuvenate deal 30 damage. Rejuvenate deal 15, but draw one. No, deal 30 damage. Yes, full in. Full in the heal train. The pain train. Oh my god, this, this is the, the number one joke. The clipped grow in strength each time they ascend your train. Okay. non boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. Ah. <laughs> they gain stronger every time they go up a floor. I... I'm a fifth. Hmm... Mm, random artifact. Mm, let's go. Let's go. We have a lot of health. We can afford to uh, lose some. Lost to the bogs. So after combat, they get plus three attack. Right, 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 right. Uh, let's put one of these up here, and then just double, double regen. Going to take no damage overall. Uh, but yeah, healing every floor, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, well, we can do actually some damage. I should have done this. Should I have done? Yes, I should. Well, a train. Okay. You won't die. That's a problem. Can I put. I can't put him in front. Well, we can at least kill both of them. We get the gold, thanks to Sweep. Can we kill this? Yes, if we do this and then put a guy in front, we can take him out. We can give her some more regen, or I can just heal. Heal also damages. Oh god, wait, no, that's, a, that's awful. Oh my god. Okay, no, I think we just leave this for the top floors to deal with. Again, really? We can put another train in the way. Yeah, more train. And deal five to him then, I guess, so that he dies. Sure. Does this do? Does it make a difference? No. Okay. I don't know why I would, but maybe. And he's just going to die. He's only going to take three damage. That's fine. Should I heal? I think I should heal. Let's do that heal. Do that heal. Do that heal and then give him a train. Yeah. Yes, heal. So, after dealing a killing blow, add a self mutilation card to the top of the pile. Okay, so that's just the that self damage, yeah. Um, I can give them extra armor or I can give him extra armor. Do that. Tanks another ten. Oh, and it's just going to die. Okay. Give more regen. And deal thirty damage. Yeah. Is done. Is super done. Just make it even more done. Wow, it didn't even take damage. Perfect. Jack strips. Deal two damage whenever an enemy unit moves between floors. Sure. Free two damage, that's fine. Can help with some of the annoying ones that get away, basically. Restore 20 health, eight, 28 health, draw two. Descend a unit and restore 12. Uh, consume, add three stings. Deal five damage to the unit in front, draw one. So deal eight, I guess, yeah. And draw three for free. Hmm. 
I think that's quite good. Just a free 24 damage. Draw a card. Or draw three. Consume, apply rage. Apply rage and armor. This could be good for our champion. Although I might need to stop putting so many cards in the deck. Sexual trinkets, coins, spells, and an artifact. You can seal Kevin's. Good sweep. So, alright. Friendly units enter with rage 3, so at least that means they get a tag. They get, what, 6 attack? And then it goes down by 2 every turn? Our enemy units get minus 1. No, I think, yeah. I think having our... Because our units are quite health stacked. I say realising that that's not entirely true, but it kind of is. So having them come in with a bunch of extra damage to start off with seems good. Uh, we shall remove... What should we remove? Should we remove a basic heal since we have a lot... We'll remove one of the basic damages because we have the thorns. And... What do we do? A train. Yeah. What's the random event? Random events are great. They can be anything. Even the Cave of the Thousand Eyes again. Uh, we toss in coins because we don't have any at the moment. Come on. Come on, 50%. Yeah. Rage does not decay. Wow. Okay, that's really good. So yes, everything just has plus six attack. Nice combo. Amazing. Yeah, no, that's... Yep. Seems good. Yep, no, 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 no. Heavy hitting clip warriors protect this harpy at any cost. They will gain more power for each five flames. Make sure to... Def, 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 to th 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 Make sure to defeat them before they thin out your defense. Non-boss enemies get plus six attack. We get extra coins. Uh, uh, I don't know about sweeps. Giving sweeps extra attacks. Uh, oh, is slay gain range. Uh, and stealth. Ooh, stealth on the boss. That's annoying. Oh wait, okay. I could have, I could have turned the challenge on, but no, I'm going to be a baby. A baby. Let's just set up our, our good front line. Could put another thing there as well. No, let's do... Let's do these two up here. B gains armor, B doesn't... Shouldn't be gain armor. Okay, I need to bear in mind sweep. Uh... They, they don't have any sweeps, that's fine. Let's channel song. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. Yeah, why not? Just throw him up here. And then I guess have this as a as, as an option. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can throw another, we can throw a train in front of him. Sure. Regen. Regen. So what's that actually thing? Triggers off steam, killing blow, gain rage. Oh yes, we. Oh no, so we should have done this. Yes. Okay. Okay. I was paying attention. Don't worry. Uh, just put DPS at the back. So he's just always passively gaining it. So resolve goes off regardless. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, just rage and armor. Just cause rage doesn't decay. Oh my god. Him applying rage. Oh jeez. That's really good. Uh, yeah. Let's actually apply it to him then, I guess. Let's give her the regen. Oh, I probably should have given something to him. I don't feel like much is going to make it past the bottom floor at this rate. A brief respite for some reason. Um, let's let's give this let's give the guy up here some regen. Let's, let's heal him up in case he ever becomes relevant somehow. Let's 
So, cannot be targeted for the next eight turns. Or the next eight attacks, I guess. Okay. Which is annoying. That's really annoying. Wow. I guess you are going to be relevant. Okay, well, we can now see you. Do we just apply a bunch of regen to this? It's not even going to, it's 12, it needs so much. Maybe I should just, I should just pour everything into him. The champ. Oh wait, when we just kill him. I'm dumb. I saw the 24 and kept thinking that it's going to show up. Look, this game has some weird stuff going on. Draw an extra card each turn, so I guess you just throw that on the top floor and just let it tick. Uh, an essentially free heal. Draw an extra card next turn. Draw, draw an extra card each turn. And it's only one, yeah. I'll see how that goes, having utility creatures. 15 plus 3, wow. Deal 8 damage, apply armor 20. Wait, so it deals 8 damage to something, then applies, gives it 20 armor. Hmm. The front apply armor 10. I don't think, I don't think any of these are decent. We'll just keep moving on. Boons, helmet. Budget of steel. Hmm. Hmm. No, random events. Random events always get me. I need to know. Because you always need to know what's in the box. That's how it works. And it's basically nothing, so that's what I get. I mean, I suppose it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Because, well, I don't know the game, so I don't know what events are likely to come up, so I don't know if it actually is worth it or not. So I suppose what I should do is just keep trying. Also, it's a bit weird how some of these are way more animated than others. Like this, like I know this because they're basic, but is it based on rarity? It's not based on rarity, it's just some are a lot more animated than others. Let's copy this. Pull more minions and buff them more. Seems good. Oh, fell. See, so far, I think all the bosses have been the same apart from one. Apart from that ice stealth one. Was that even a boss? I don't think that was even a boss. See, it seems like the mini bosses are similar. They have spell shield. Absorb the next five damage spells. Damn. And has armor. Okay, okay. Um, well, let's channel. Of course, how could I forget that that was in here? Uh, looks like I put it up here. It gets rage. Uh, I guess this is what I do for the moment. Just try and deal some damage. I mean, the sweep still kills these, which is what would have been the most annoying. No, I don't want to see what I've consumed. But at least we're starting to draw some cards. Ooh, uh, when you cast a spell on the floor, he gains armor 10. Uh, I think we just put our our damage dealer down here as well. And then we set up something like this with this. And just leave him to steadily stack. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, oh no, I need to try and get some healing on her. Yeah, like that. Yeah, just kill him. Oh no, he gained armor. How terrible. Uh, well, this has holdover, so I get to keep it anyway. And I guess I throw this behind here. Yep. Well, I think we're doing pretty fine here. 
Oh, she's now, she's not entering the fray. Where is she? No, she is not, okay. Whew. Okay. Uh, I guess give him some more armor. Just stack the regen. That means I can do damage to her. No, don't do that. When a unit on this floor dies, gain 10 armor. Hmm. They're going to do some decent damage. Uh, it's just rage and armor. Do some healing. Okay, I'm running out. Uh, no, Ember! Whoa, the rage. My god, rage not going away. With the with this, the branded warrior is so good. Uh, just heal a few times. Don't just heal a lot. Is it? That's too much. Is it? Well, I mean, I'm not doing anything else, so why not? Just do more damage to the boss. Giving more armor. So, 26. Yeah. yeah, I think I leave that there. And do I just. Do I just heal him a bunch? In case it ever gets round to him? It might do. He might matter. Seems unlikely with the state of the boss, but it could do. And it doesn't, but it might have done. In fact, not even going to die. <laughs> that seems uh, decent so far. Regen spikes. Double the armor on a unit. Enhance a unit with plus 10 health. Apply spikes 5. So do, am I going to take the thing that I made fun of before? Maybe. <laughs> Just because applying multiple regen and spikes to the champion seems quite good. <sighs> Fine, I'll, I'll do it. I'll try it at least. I think it's taking extra mana at this point, yeah. We're already using our uh, amazing our amazing thing to draw an extra card every turn, yay. Uh, we forge oh, random encounters, random, you always take the random encounters. I'm terrible. I have to know what's in the box. And it's something that, again, we've already seen before, but at least this one is also good. Um... Wait, are all these, these are all the same. Oh, okay. I suppose that's interesting. Heartstone. We definitely don't want that. We don't really want that. So I guess we just take that again. What's worth it? I can't... Wait, I can't upgrade these. Oh, is it going to make me swap a stone? Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. I ain't that fast. I guess this, just so it can tank on some floors for a bit. A tank with utility, because it has AoE. Okay. Uh, upgrade spells first. Gain permafrost. Gain frozen when drawn. This card will not be discarded at the end of the turn. So it holds it in your hand until you use it? Okay. Plus 20 power and consume. We can put that on one of the random heals. Or we could do it on this, yeah. Just a big fireball. Uh, let's make this cheaper. It makes it less of a pain to use in that case. I don't know if we want that. So we can randomize. And we get more. Nice. Um, plus 20 power and consume. Do it on another one. Cost minus one. Uh, this again. Just cost zero. It's free. Cool. Oh, we can we can only reroll once. I see. Uh, we can get rid of two. Do we get rid of a basic regen? I don't even know if we do. We get rid of a train. Choo choo out the way. I think we get rid of one of the basic regens. Yeah. And we upgrade our champion. What else can we give her? Huh? Deal sixty damage. 
Or Spike's Eleven. Oh, God. Oh. Spike's is really good against bosses. But that's really good with the regen. And there's so much more health. I think, I think this, because it means that she's still useful until we get the regen on her. I'm calling it her. I'm sure it seems like a she, is all I'm saying. Non-boss enemy units enter with spikes five. We get 400 coins. I think I'm okay. I'm already sitting on some amount of money anyway, so I don't, I don't feel like the extra money is worth the potential risk at this point, because now we're getting to the harder regions. Deals five damage to the front enemy unit. Oof. Well, at least now we have something to heal, I suppose. Um, I don't want to take up the space down here. Should we? I think we throw him in the way just to tank a lot of the damage. I... Still taking the damage. Oh, he's just going to straight up die. Like that. Okay, yeah. Sure. Four. Mm. Ah, do we have to let this through? This does 40. No, it enters with 6. So it enters with rage 10. So it actually enters with... Wait, rage is 2. So it enters with 40, so it deals 80. So we know, yeah, this is actually lethal. This is actually killed. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It ends with rage 7. Okay, so why did I think rage 10? Okay. Well, that's my fault, but that's fine. Because we can still kill it. Like, well, let's do it like that. And then we regen this. And then pew pew. Yeah, you escape. Don't sound so cocky. Or they die. Man, these are annoying. Jeez. Do I tank? I think. I think I put this in the way to tank again. I put this in behind. Just regen this. Oh wait, channel. Oh, okay. Well, we can just throw him, throw him here. As a gateway, throw our, throw our custodian at the top. No, let's heal, heal, regen. No, the holdover regen. Yeah. Yeah. God, they just these do so much damage. Oh, damn. Wait, so they all die? Okay. Yes, just do this. Is this going to die? This is going to die. Could I expedite the situation? If I do that, that won't help. You know what, they have consumed. I'm going to hold on to them. Oh my god. Uh, heal. Regen. Restore. Oh, I could have channeled, I didn't realise. Uh, let's just throw that up here. this so it still gains health brief respite Just more regen and spikes yeah fill the deck who cares um, make him buff a bit I guess We're all on the bot. We're all on the bottom floor. We're all in. 
Okay. Pew. No, might as well just do all this. Just do it all. Oh, weird. It went. It was going to take more damage for a second. Weird. Okay, well. Hey. He gets the rage buff. Perfect. It's exactly what we needed. Apply spikes five. Consume. Just give something spikes. Draw health plus one. Hmm. Hmm. I think this is good just for a free enable on our champion. Apply Rage 3. Well, that's good because Rage doesn't go away. To friendly and enemy units. 103 damage. And that plus 3. Plus 3 magic power. <laughs> well, because that has consume, I'm willing to take it. It gets rid of itself. Okay. Magic buff. Restore health. And the trinkets is there. No, this way, this way is way better. Rage 7. With plus one capacity, plus one. Nah, rage seven. With their slots are full. Um, I guess a sweep? A sweep with rage <laughs> sounds quite good. And can we upgrade the health on. Steelworker? Sure. We won't do any of that because then we won't be able to afford a trinket. Duplicate. What's worth duplicating? I don't know. What is worth duplicating? I guess another one of these. These just seem really good. I think so. All this. Just another, ta another tank. We, well, we have one, two, three tanks, kind of. Well, this is also a kind of tank. Let's get another ways, because I think we just really need one of these at the beginning, as soon as possible, to get things rolling. Um, what do we want out of the deck? Is this, is this actually just too bad? Have I just wasted? I feel like it's too bad. I think this is too bad. I think we get rid of this. Uh, yeah, we get rid of one of these. Trinket. Your pyre starts with armor 15. Apply rooted to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. So they can't move. When they play card with consumers play, deal 30 damage to the front enemy unit. I guess getting an extra turn is fine, but it doesn't apply to bosses, so. Armor still on 15 armor. Sure, that might make a difference. I don't see how, but it might. Here he is, Seraph the Diligent. Oh, so it's always Seraph. It's just the vi the, the different flavors of Seraph. Today we have a nice uh, blackcurrant flavored Seraph. And his thing is consuming spells. Oh my god, that thing that does whenever you play a spell with consume, it deals 30 damage. I didn't... Oh. Man, if only like I'd known what the boss was beforehand. And this keeps making more. Um... Dealing damage there. Assume. Do we put this here? I, maybe? Do we put it up here? I think we put it up here. I think we put the train in front. Down. We put the train in front. Yeah, so it just dies for... Dies for this... this the sins this turn. Oh yeah, and he just summons stuff on any floor. I forgot about that. Well, okay. Well, let's let's channel. That's that's actually okay. We can put him up here, and that's fine. We put him down here, and he can do some work. We give her some regen so we can kill both of them. Then we put him up here so he can tank a bit. Here is where there's a problem. Um. I guess we just pew, 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 and just try and... Oh, I, yeah, I didn't think about that one, but hey. Take five, five armor damage. Okay. You stuff that extra one in. 
My hand is quite full. Triggers if the card remains in hand. Yep, okay. I can add another one of these to the bottom row. That doesn't seem actually worth doing. I can just give this more regen. That might be worth doing. Oh, actually, no, we want... I think we want to put one up here. What do we heal? We consume heal this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we regen and we restore. And we don't care about the one damage our pyre takes. Okay. Hmm. I think we keep trying to play... Wait, does the holdover still get consumed? I don't know, I guess we'll find out next turn. Next turn! On Dragon Ball Z. Um. Well, it's only the first spell, isn't it? So I can still play these. I was, I was getting, I keep getting paranoid about losing spells. All well, these ones I will lose. So. We still have some units to pull. Yep, that's the one. That's exactly the one I wanted. I guess we put him down here, where he can gain some good buffs. Just apply rage to him. Play both of these. Uh, deal eight damage to him so he doesn't take any. So, yeah, it's... So this gets consumed. No, it doesn't. Oh, the first non... Oh, I guess this is like a curse then? Rather than a spell? Weird. Um, well, let's just sting to consume that. And then we can store here, fine. Man, I wish if I timed that properly, I could have kept the holdover, which is, I think, would have been clutch. Do we just give this more rage? No, I think we throw we throw him in the front so he can start stacking some defenses. She's still regening. Yes, it is. It might make a difference. He can survive a few extra hits. We don't actually know how much attack he has yet. The spikes. He's taken a lot of damage before he's even started fighting. Um, let's consume. So wait, yes, doing this on her does add another copy and mean that one's still... Yeah, okay, cool. So that's sort of net neutral anyway. Um, just try and heal up. This one's just dead, isn't it? Yeah. As much regen as possible. How much more? Do we kill this so that we get an extra 16 damage on him? Yeah, it seems good. 107. Okay. Oh, I accidentally muted myself. Because I thought I was being yelled at, but that's fine. Uh... Oh, we just we win. We can just win. But can we can we keep our can we keep our sentient alive? This is now the challenge. It doesn't it doesn't look like it. Ah, we can. Ha ha. And then we try and take as little damage as possible. Oh my god, is the armor going to perfectly block it? Amazing. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Perfect John. There we go, we did it. We win a run. And we get a new clan, the Stygian Guard. So the 
The not fizz. Nice. Okay, so I, I, I think I'll call it there. But I, I really enjoy this. I see why people. Oh, are we gonna see actually see the ending? I don't know why I wasn't expecting there to be an ending. <laughs> oh, it's just that's it. We did it. Hell, hell has become unfrozen. Oh, and so opts into high challenge level. Yeah, this is what I was expecting, honestly. Covenant rank goes up every time you win a run with your highest unlock rank. Cool. Health from Woken. Enhance a unit with plus 8 attack and minus 2 health. Hmm. Friendly units heal deal damage to the front of unit equal to the amount healed. Yeah, that's good. We get 2 levels. It attacks first. 25 attack. Add a sting spell to your hand. So after it takes damage, it gets deal 5 damage. Okay. Interesting. People are yelling at dogs. Impressive! Sacrifice an imp to deal 50 damage. Conserve the mana between turns. Interesting. And we don't actually get the second level. Ah, oh, damn, I'm below. I need to catch up. Okay, well, yeah, I... I'm gonna call it there, but yeah, I quite enjoyed that. Oh, you can see a full run. You can see your deck list. You can see what you want to help against. What the various challenges were, and that you didn't take in some of the cases. Okay, but yeah, no. I if, if you're if you're into the the rogue likes, which you probably are, if you're watching the stream, that's what the centerpiece of this stream is intended to be. Then yeah, I would say definitely give it a go. Wait, there's a multiplier. I didn't even know this. You don't XP. Race other players in timed battles, or I need to give it. I need to give it a try at some point. But yeah, no. Th I mean, thank you for joining me. And yeah, if you liked what you see then definitely give it a look there's there's certainly a lot of roguelike card games that have appeared in recent years thanks to slay the spire and i've tried basically all of them and a lot of them are lacking but this is definitely it's got a new spin on it it's got a, you're a train to hell going to literally unfreeze hell what's not to like i think it's good. apart from the only the only issue i have is the I say the number scaling, where it starts off with like numbers in like the fives, tens, and thirties, and it goes up to thousands, and it's a bit hard to keep track of the scaling of it, I guess. Or it's really easy, you know, that it's just going to go to really high numbers. But hey, I'm sure that's something you figure out with time. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you like this, then please could you give me a follow, and I'll do more in the future. So I'll see you later.